Does your Warzone feel laggy, stuttery, or like you're losing FPS for no reason? You're not alone. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix your FPS drops and make Warzone 3 run buttery smooth. These optimizations will boost FPS, reduce stuttering, and make your game feel more responsive. So let's get right into it. First, let's fix Warzone settings. The wrong setup can completely tank your FPS. All right, guys. So the first thing that you want to do is open up Battle.net and then click on the top left icon, click settings, and then make sure on game launch, you set it to exit Battle.net completely, then uncheck launch battle.net when I start my PC and then scroll down and uncheck use browser hardware acceleration Then press done and then you would just launch your game and open it up and we want to go to Warzone. we're going to click the gear icon on the top right go to graphics and then display mode you can use full screen exclusive or full screen borderless if you're on Windows 11 if you're on Windows 11 you can use this specific setting to make sure that windowed full screen doesn't cause any problems which is optimizations for windowed games and then you want to scroll down NVIDIA reflex low latency if you care about input lag and FPS you want to use on plus boost if you care about fps mostly in this game then just on on plus boost does give you like 10 less fps but the input lag is a lot lower and it's a lot more noticeable so i would recommend on plus boost then press apply and then setting a custom frame rate limit to around your monitor's refresh rate so that would be around 144 hertz 240 hertz or 360 because the game's going to look the best whenever you're consistently running at your monitor's refresh rate however if you can't reach your monitor's refresh rate just set it to unlimited and then you're good to go or use g-sync then you want to go to quality you want to set render resolution to whatever your resolution is if you have a really bad graphics card you can obviously drop this down to make it look worse but give you more fps and upscaling slash sharpening always use fidelity cas this looks the best and does it really introduce any added input lag or reduce your fps that much then amd fsr 3 frame generation always turn this off do not use frame generation in any game vram scale target just max this out and then variable rate shading turn this on now texture resolution that's up to you you can turn this up to medium or high depending on your graphics card me personally i just use very low and everything else you want to just use low or off now on demand texture streaming you want to set it to minimal then you want to set allocate textures to cache size to 16 then download limits turn that on and make sure it's on one gigabytes and local texture streaming quality set to low let's go down and set everything off to low and same thing with the stuff down here then go to view you want to turn off world motion blur and weapon motion blur then you want to click on account and network you want to turn off clouded settings so it doesn't reset your settings whenever you do stuff in a configuration file so turn this off and then you want to turn off dismemberment and gore effects and that's pretty much the majority of the call of duty warzone settings now we're going to go to the configuration file and tune a couple th more things in order to get more fps which can help a lot so once you've closed warzone all you want to do is join my discord server in the link in the description and go to the tweaks channel and download this pack file right here now once you've downloaded it all you want to do is find it on your desktop top open it and then go to configuration files now depending on what processor you have you will go in each one of these folders and then copy whatever you've got in there and right click and click copy so for me i have an i9 so i'm going to go in here highlight all of this right click and click copy then go to documents call of duty players right click click paste and then replace files now you're going to go back and we're going to go to number two which is going to be nvidia and amd optimization settings so for nvidia it's quite simple all we're going to do we're going to open up nvidia control panel settings and we're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and then use my preference emphasizing and drag this all the way to the left and click performance press apply go to manage 3d settings turn off everything here and then low latency mode you can leave this on on open gl rendering gpu set it to the graphics card power management mode of course prefer max performance shader cache size just set it to unlimited texture filtering quality high performance you can set thread optimization to auto or on it doesn't really matter and vertical sync set it to off go to change resolution click use nvidia color settings and click full then go to adjust desktop color settings and set digital vibrance to 75 for better visuals in call of duty it's going to make characters pop out a lot more and you're going to be able to spot people from far away then that's all you have to do for nvidia control panel you can close out of that if you're on amd just follow the amd screenshots in the folder or you can watch the full in-depth guide that i have on youtube and then go back go to nvidia open up nvidia profile inspector and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down find huda force p2 state set this to off and then you want to search up call of duty black ops 6 and then you want to choose that you want to scroll down you want to make sure our bar feature is set to disabled and once you've saw that you're pretty much good to go just press apply changes on the top right then you can close out of that then we're going to go back go to basic windows optimizations for warzone double click choose a power plan you want to make sure 
you're using a good power plan so you could use high performance or ultimate performance or you can make your own power plan like i have but for the purposes of this video just use high performance or ultimate performance then close out of that double click uninstall useless apps and what we're going to do is just going to go through all of this and uninstall anything that you do not need because this will run in the background and really reduce your fps so anything that you do not need just uninstall it like these xbox apps then you can close out of that now if you don't use the xbox game bar at all you can just right click on this click run as administrator and this is going to pretty much uninstall all the xbox apps so you don't have any extra xbox stuff running in the background and the game bar will be completely uninstalled so you just press enter on that go back you're going to go to bios settings for warzone and you all you're going to do is double click this restart to BIOS and we're going to go to the BIOS settings and enable some stuff in there in order to make sure we're going to get the max performance out of our PC for Warzone. So as I said earlier, just right click on this, click run as an administrator and it's going to install and restart your PC and go straight to BIOS. If that file did not work, all you want to do is just restart your PC and spam delete on your keyboard or F2. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the best Intel basic settings for Warzone. If you're on AMD, sorry, but I don't have an AMD system. So just follow my full AMD optimization guide that is in the same folder so you want to go to extreme tweaker and ai overclock tuner you want to set this to xmp1 and that's all you have to do in here then as soon as multi-core enhancement you want to set this to enabled remove all limits because if you don't set it to enable remove all limits it's going to pretty much just cap your cpu to a certain power wattage in games that does reduce performance a lot then you want to go to advanced at the top you want to go to cpu configuration scroll down to the bottom go to cpu power management control and you want to disable cpu c states if you're on intel that's pretty much all you have to do super basic as realistic as get you the most performance for warzone without any extra overclocking or extra intensive settings so now you just go to exit and then save changes and reset so whenever you're in bios all you're going to do is you're going to press f7 if you're on msi to go to advanced mode or just click advanced mode in your bios you're going to go to overclocking settings go to advanced cpu configuration then go to amd overclocking at the top precision boost overdrive for the purposes of this video set this to enable go back again and scroll down axmp of course set this to profile one or enabled then uclk div one mode you're going to set this to uclk equals mmclk and then scroll down go to advanced dram configuration scroll down and power down enable if you're on am5 so ddr5 do not disable this if you're on am4 aka ddr4 disable this tsme you could disable this on both am5 and am4 and bank group swap this is only for ddr4 disable this and bank group swap all set to enabled and dram latency enhance again just for ddr4 set this to enabled now on ddr5 you might have data scramble in here just disable that if you have the option then go back and then just go to motherboard settings on the left go to advanced disable msi driver utility installer go to hardware monitor on the right now amd is very very sensitive to temperatures the lower the temperatures are the higher the frequency is on amd so if you want the best results from this video you want to set your fans to full speed by pressing f on msi depending on your motherboard it obviously might be something else but you just want to set the fans to full speed what you would want to do just press f10 you're just going to press yes on that and that's it with these optimizations warzone 3 should now run smoother with higher fps and less input lag so if this helped drop a like and subscribe and if you want a professional level optimization optimization that we do for you then go to the first link in the description for a full pc tuning service that'll make your setup run like the pros